Hey, welcome back to Toaster's channel. Today we have an unboxing and review of the Mattel WWE Elite WrestleMania 39 build a figure Mean Gene Oakland. So there are four figures to this set, and this is one of the sets I'm very excited to look at. Um, it has you know some of my favorite wrestlers growing up and also some iconic moments in the WWE um, that I watched when I was growing up the Hogan versus Rock uh, match so I'm very excited about this set and I love the the box art the colorway the choices including the bill of figure figure um, so I'm super excited to look at it so let's look at each figure in the box first First we have the Macho King, Randy Savage. Here's the box art. Comes with Mean Jean's head. He has this, you know, typical colorful attire. Crown and uh, wand. So let's see where, I can't recall exactly which uh, WrestleMania this is, but um, the back of the box says Macho King Randy Savage from Sarasota, Florida, 7 feet 2, 237 pound, finisher at the Flying Humble Shop. Career highlights, WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Macho King and his Queen Sensational Sherry battled Dusty Rhodes and Sapphire in the mixed tag team match at WrestleMania 6. So this is from WrestleMania 6. So I get it. So um, they have two of the matches of, for the set. So you have Macho King versus Dusty Rhodes, and then The Rock versus Hogan. And this one specifically is from WrestleMania 6. Next we have Dusty Rhodes. So surprisingly, this is my first Dusty Rhodes figure I have. I just never was able to pick up the first one, the Legends that came out, and then the more recent Dusty Rose Elites weren't really my favorite, you know, time period of his. But this one, I knew I had to get. Back to the box, uh, from Austin, Texas, six feet two, two hundred seventy-five pounds. Finisher is the Bionic Elbow. He's a former world champion. United States Champion, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. The American Dream is Sweet Sapphire won one for the Commonwealth Man against the Macho King and Queen Sh 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 Sherry at WrestleMania 6. Super cool. Finally get another American Dream Dusty Road figure. My first one. And next, we can never get tired of his figures. We have Hollywood Hulk Hogan in one of my favorite gears. Um, um, so for me personally, um, this time period where the NWO came back to face the rock was kind of like the end of the time I really followed wrestling or WWE. Like I kind of stopped um, between that period of ruthless ag aggression and I just really remember this storyline because I'm a huge w NWO fan and it was so cool to see him back in the WWE so we have from Venice Beach California 6 feet 7 302 pounds finishers the leg drop career highlights WWE champion WCW world heavyweight champion WWE hall of fame inductee in a match for the ages featuring the two biggest stars of the era, the Mortal One went one on one with The Rock at WrestleMania 18. So, this is probably my favorite out of the set. Again, I'm a huge Hogan fan, and I can't wait to see the attire it has. It comes with the Mean Gene arms and a few other accessories. And then, lastly, we have the great one, The Rock. There he is. So, let's 
says he's from Miami, Florida, six feet five, two hundred sixty pound finisher, Mr. Rock Bottom. Career highlights: WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, World Tag Team Champion. The Great One defeated Hollywood Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 18 in the most electrifying match in WrestleMania history. And yeah, that was one of the you know, best moments in WrestleMania, or one of the best moments. We have two iconic wrestlers going at it. Alright, so let's get these figures open up and we'll take a closer look at the attires and figures. Alright, so I have them out of package. We'll look at each figure and then we'll build Ninji Nokolin afterwards. So, um, quite embarrassingly, I actually knew about this WrestleMania 6 matchup. This was one I watched like many times. I mean, WrestleMania 6, I watched it many times because my dad actually bought me the VHS for it and I, I would watch it like religiously. Especially the main event with the Warrior, Ultimate Warrior, and Hulk Hogan. So, I did actually know where this came from. So, very unfortunate we don't have the, you know, the um, vest or the cape that Macho King wore. But, um, this one looks really good. This figure here, you got the, the wand here, and then you got the Macho King removable crown and sunglasses reveals the macho man head the design the painting is pretty good i'll say it the best they can do because his outfits are you know very intricate at times glasses are easy to stick right back in oops never mind you can just plug it back in like this. The crown needs to be stretched out a little bit on his head. He comes with replaceable hands here. Another point for him. Open fist. And he comes with me and Gene Oakland's head. Next we have the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. So he comes with two sets of hands. You have the closed fist hand and then one pointing and open fist. He has on um, the pointing fist and closed. His trademark polka dot outfit with the soft good on top you can remove. The face has him, you know, kind of opening exaggerated. Get the knee pads looking good. The boots looks very detailed. Good, nicely painted. Good size figure for a Dusty. So my first Dusty Road figure and I'm pretty happy about it. This would be the one I I would have chosen anyways because this is the era I really loved and I loved Poke Ball. And he also comes with the body piece of Minji no Kermit. Some little noise in there. Hopefully it's not being broken. And then next up, we got my favorite of all One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. All the dude, Hulk Hogan. So first let's look at the extra accessories he comes. He comes with his trademark Hollywood belt. And then he comes with two sets of hands. He has the open fist hand and the open hand. So you can do the Hollywood hearing sign and all that. Too bad I didn't have the wolf pack signing too. But let's look at the figure. He comes with the boas here, black and white boas then you have the bandana you can take off the sunglasses oh, it comes with that little rubber band, keep it on very 
Generic hit scan of Hollywood. Got the rip away front shirt. I won't take it off. My pants. And I love the design and the details to the tights. Train my lightning and look at this. The Hollywood face logo on the boots. Just like how he usually has it. So it's very easy to put these back on top. You can put the sunglasses back on him. The headband. So there it is, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And he comes with the hands of Queen Jean. So you get the two arms here and the open fist hands and if you mix you can't mix it up because uh, Mean Jean has a lighter skin tone so you you can definitely tell it apart and it comes with a classic logo microphone and lastly we have the rock the iconic moment he and Hulk Hogan locked up Rock didn't have really flashy attires, very generic, you know. The rock on his tights, the Brahma bowl, his trademark tattoo before he got the shoulder tattoo, trademark pads. Very basic, you know, elite rock, but uh, the face scan is pretty good and very accurate to when he face Hogan. It comes with two sets of hands, open fists, or open hands, and then open fists. And it comes with the leg of Minjin. So, yep, there it's the WrestleMania 39 Mattel uh, build a figure Minjin set. And I probably highly recommend you buy this, especially if you are a, you know, an old school type of wrestling fan or the, you know, 90s, 2000s, 80s for this set. Um, let's do a bonus. We'll build aging. So you can connect it here. Kind of for the body piece, you kind of have to line it up and then kind of twist and make sure you lock it in. There we go. You can hear that click. There we go. Let's look at the arms. Nice and easy. Very easy to put on. And lastly, the head. Snaps right in. There you go. You missed down on any mean gene. Oakland figures. This is a must-have to include in your collection. So once again, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.